Map Info Pro provides a variety of ways to search or query your data to isolate the results you need. Whether you choose to use mapping tools to draw search boundaries or SQL queries, you will be able to find your results quickly and easily. The SQL Select Query, which can be found on Table, Map or Spatial tabs, provides you with advanced querying capabilities. With the SQL Queries, you can use complex queries against multiple tables to get the results you need with relative ease. From here, you can choose the table you want to query against and the query variables you wish to run. For example, you may choose to query your table for every state that begins with the letter A. Furthermore, you can choose to sort the browser results by a specific column to help organize your browser if you're expecting a large number of results. If you wish to browse the results in a new browser, make sure to select the Browse Results checkbox. This will create a new separate table which can be saved. If you wish to view the highlighted results in the current map, make sure to select Find Results in the Current Map window. This will highlight the object or objects that you have queried for. As with the browser results, you can save the map selection as a new table. When you have your browser results, you can sort or filter the data to drill down to the information you need. To do this, you can use the tools located under the Sort and Filter group from the Table tab. Alternately, you can right-click on one of the browser column headers to select the Sort or Filter options. There are other selection tools that allow you to perform queries via map controls, such as the Radius Selection tool. With this tool and the next few we will cover, you can simply draw a perimeter around an area of points, lines and polygons to select the objects. First, make sure that the layer you want to query is selectable. Do this by clicking on the middle icon located to the right of the layer name. Next, click and hold the mouse button to start drawing, then release the button to stop drawing. This will select all objects within that newly drawn circular perimeter. You will now see a new temporary table listed under the table list called Selection. To browse this selection, right-click on the table and select Browse. The Marquee Selection tool will draw a rectangle to select objects. Again, click and hold the mouse button to start drawing, then release the button when you've finished. The Polygon Selection tool allows you to draw a more complex perimeter. To draw a polygon, you will need to click on a point on the map to begin drawing then keep adding new points by clicking. To complete the more complex object, double click the mouse button. If you want to exit out from your current drawing, you can hit the escape key on your keyboard and the drawing will disappear. The boundary selection tool must involve more than one layer in order for this tool to work. Plus, you must have a layer that contains polygons to act as the boundary. For example, if you have a layer of the United States, you can use a particular state boundary to select a set of points located within that state boundary. This makes the boundary selection tool desirable if you need to use very specific jurisdiction boundaries to select objects. Once you've selected a set of objects, you may choose to invert that selection or choose everything other than what is currently selected on the map. For example, I can select these three objects to start and then click the invert button to unselect those three objects and select everything else. To clear any selection from the Map tab under the Selection group, click on the Clear tool. To learn more about these features or any other Map Info Pro feature, please utilise the Integrated Help tutorial.